How to Find Reserved Materials at Madison College Libraries In addition to our main collection of books, videos, and magazines that you can check out to take home with you, we also have a large collection of materials that are put on reserve by your instructors. You can search by your instructor's name, the name of the course, or better yet, the title of the material you hope to find. To find out if we have materials on reserve for your class, start by clicking on the Reserves tab on our homepage. For example, if you're looking to see what's on reserve for instructor Marty Richards, enter her name and click the Instructor button. If you click on her name, the courses for which she has reserve items should appear. If you click on her Special Topics course, the catalog displays the five items on reserve for that course. However, that does not necessarily mean that we have every assigned reading title for Marty's class. Instructors might place some, but not other class readings and materials on reserve. Check your syllabus and check with your instructor for all requirements related to a course. The majority of reserve items are on closed reserve, meaning that the book or material must remain in the library while you use it. Some titles are marked overnight reserve, which means they may leave the library and are due back by noon the following day. Some instructors permit their books to be checked out for up to three days. And a few titles may leave the library for a one-week checkout. After returning a reserve, students must wait at least two hours before checking out an overnight, three-day, or one-week item again, so others are given a chance to use them. Since there is a steady demand for reserve materials, we assess a fine of a dollar a day per item for returning reserves late. Your account will be barred or put on hold with the library until you return that item to us. In addition to books and program materials, we also have iPads, laptops, flash drives, chargers, and more for student use. Ask a librarian for more information. If you do have questions, click on the Reference and Research Help link on the library's homepage. There you will find all the ways to contact us. Thank you for viewing this Howler tutorial.